Carter on episode one is called The Lady in the Lake. So guys, uh, last season was just a really great season uh, for Agent Carter. I actually enjoyed the story very much. I, I, I actually enjoyed the show more than I thought I was going to enjoy it. I mean, I heard some people how they were talking about it and how they felt about the show. Or it was like they said it was okay. Uh, and I thought I was going to probably get the same type of feeling like, this is an okay show and it's just cool. But I actually like the story. I actually like, you know, what uh, a uh, Peggy is, you know, about and how she, her, I love her character very much. You know, Jarvis, uh, you know, Howard Stark. Uh, is th These are like, these characters are like really good on the show. Like, of course, I love how the show, you know, made you care about these characters. Like, you're kind of like, it's like you're pretty much attached to these characters. And I pretty much have like an attachment to the characters. And that's actually a good thing. Because some shows can't do that and if you don't have an attachment to the characters you don't really care about the show yeah from the last episode you know howard stark uh, was under control from the doctor that basically hypnotized anyone uh he basically made him go onto a plane and basically they're gonna just drop the the gas basically that can make you uh kill other people it was just uh the invention that howard you know made at the time and they were going to use it against the city. Of course, you know, Peggy got to him, you know, just in time, you know, and Jarvis was right behind him, like he was ready to shoot down Howard just in case if they can't convince him that he is not where he was at, which I think he was like seeing, you know, trying to find like Captain America or something like that. Because Howard does feel guilty about what happened to, uh, you know, Captain America. He does feel bad for hiding the, the blood of Steve Rogers from, you know, Peggy. It was really nice of Jarvis to uh, give the blood of, you know, Steve to Peggy and then she just decided to dump it over the bridge. That's basically basically what she did. Other than that guys, can't wait to get to this next episode. But before this video begins, guys, I want to thank Tom for sponsoring this video through the Patreon page. Make sure you just go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction on there and also support the channel as well. Guys, let's get into this first episode for season two for Agent Carter. Deposit or withdrawal? Withdrawal. <laughs> I'll need the key to safety deposit box number 143. Oh! Dorothy Underwood, you're under arrest. Move it! Don't move! Oh, it's all set up! BSSR! For your weapons. You heard the man. Hey, look out! Another body. Dead woman in the exact same lake. I just stay in the year, right? Only the lake don't know it. Wait, what? Look at this. How's that even happening? That's kind of weird. So, until we catch this lunatic, looks like you and me are partners. This was found in deposit box 143. There was no owner on the bank registry. Egg. We both know there are currencies stronger than money. How's the surf today, Agent Susan? That's Chief Sousa to you. Congratulations, Jack. I hear you caught Dottie Wait. Underwood. Yeah, we caught a lead. He's a right chief? after you left open the West Coast Bureau. What you got? We caught a mystery out here. An ice cube the size of a lake with a dead woman trapped Damn, inside. Damn, Daniel's a chief. What? Who's the body? Got a homicide dick who says this is the work of a killer who's been chasing the past two years. Jack, my LA office is too great. Because the moment you catch a real case, you throw your hands in the air. You know I'm understaffed as is. I have just the man for you. Thank you. You're trying to undermine this interrogation. I was just beginning to make her feel comfortable. Every interruption sets me back an hour. It's no longer your worry. You're done here. What? Why? Really? We caught a high-profile case that needs eyeballs with experience. Next flight leaves for Los Angeles in three hours. She's asked for you and nobody else. Miss Scott. Thank you for collecting me. I hope it wasn't a bother. Not at all. I'm delighted to see you again. Where is Howard? Yeah, Mr. Stark's latest hobby keeps him quite busy. Cecil B. DeMille. Fatty Arbuckle, more like. I'll rent a car and get out of your hair as soon as possible. And I can easily shuffle you from place to place. I would never dream of such an imposition. So boring, Jack. Hey, Peg. But stop. I'm sorry. I don't think you're right for the hour back theatrical agency. Have a nice day. Come, I'll show you right through. Oh, what? How is everything? Everything is through the first door on your right. Hello? Chief. What are you doing here? The Lady of the Lake Killer. Ray. Thompson said you requested backup. Yes, 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 of course. I was expecting... You didn't put the request in. No, I did. Okay. Welcome to Los Angeles. Thank you. He's so white, sir. I know that all your time has been consumed with setting up the SSR's West Coast Bureau. It has been. Traveling across the country. But I office. did call. Detective Andrew Henry, LAPD homicide. This is 
Agent Peggy Carter, SSR New York. New body means I'm gonna have journalists clawing down my door. So I'll catch our bad guy before even rush on Coenga Pass. First step we should take is to determine whether or not the dead body and the frozen lake are even the same crime. They're probably two different crimes. No, so you're kidding me. It's the best chance we've had in two years to catch your man. Why the delay? This isn't delay or a frostbite. She's frozen through and through. Can't explain this either. What? How? That's not ice. Then what is it? Short answer is, I don't know. So it was a long answer. Isotime Energy is a development laboratory dedicated to fuel initiatives in the 20th century. Is there anything else I can help you with today? You know who works with the particle accelerator? Our scientists. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'd like to look around your facilities. Do you have a search warrant? We do not. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Damn. You're pussyfooting around here. Why the killer stalking us? May I use your restroom? Why not? We've already wasted an hour coming here. It's, um, on your right. Oh, excuse me. She's so slick. You want to be thunderstruck? Come. Wait, what? What you're about to experience will change your life forever. I'm not one for surprises. Taste this. You poisoning me? That's ethanol. So, yes. Well, I'm usually a, a whiskey girl, but this is the best wine I've ever tasted. See? See, I realized that by manipulating the oxygen and the malaconsistinic acids, I, I could tweak the pH balance. So you're a genius. Oh. But yes. <laughs> Do you know this woman? That's Jane. Jane Scott. What happened to her? You work with the particle accelerator here. Uh, we didn't overlap. I, I work in containment research. I think she was a particle physicist. Here's my business card. If I can be of any more help. Or if you want some more wine. Thank you, Dr. Wilt. Doc, let me give you my personal number. Oh, oh, very well. Oh, Dr. Kelvin Wilkes Chadwick's likes office her is stolen. Mr. Jarvis! <gasps> Miss Carter is here. Miss Carter! I feel like I already know you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whereas, Mrs. Oh, Jarvis? It's a pleasure to finally meet. Yes. Right. Excuse me, Mr. Jarvis. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's an embarrassing creature. <laughs> He's too easy. Oh, and his wife, Whitney Frost. Who? Whitney Frost. Star of the F stands for freedom. What do you do for relaxation? Assemble rifles? I trust you to distract her with your flattery. <laughs> Edwin Jarvis, head of production, Stark Pictures. Oh, John. Can I have a word? Mr. Chadwick, I am one of your biggest advocates for Senate. What a delight to see such an attractive young woman like yourself interested in politics. You wear that Miss Scott is dead. Did you say you wore this? Agent Peggy Carter with the SSR. Is your wife aware you were having an affair? You would be perfect for the lead role in the new Stark Pictures That's why production. his eyes changed really? quick. What's the picture? The movie. Yes. The, the, the Stark Pictures is, is, is currently cast. If you have nothing to hide, you'll hand over a complete list of employees at Isodyne Energy. A patriot, and I would gladly help. But Isodyne Energy deals in classified and confidential United States government contracts. If you get proper clearance, I will give you a tour myself. Is he in here? How did Meltzer even cut into the body? What'd you find, Dr. Meltzer? Dr. Meltzer. He froze. It's been over 24 hours. Shouldn't I get a phone call? What are you doing? I'm not afraid of you. What are you gonna tell me? You're too easy. We need Peggy. Oh no, maybe. Cause of death, organ failure due to unknown toxic substance. Exactly, not the stab wounds. So if someone stabbed the body off, she'd already died. The murderer wanted us to think Jane Scott was killed by the lady of the lake killer. When actually she was killed from exposure to the substance that froze the lake. Her shoes were switched on her feet. What the only people that knew that detail were the actual lady of the lake killer and the police. Where's Detective Henry? Go. Gentlemen, tighten your jaw. Excuse me? He's gonna Ooh. hit oh. you. Get in. What is it you expect me to do? You're gonna fix me. Go. The suspect is Detective Andrew Henry, LAPD. He is armed and dangerous. Approach with caution. Oh. Oh, is it broken? You'll live. Keep your head back. Andrew Henry! Jason Wilkes! If you're inside, come out with your hands raised! The windows are frosted over. Your column was frozen. He had to wow. ditch the car. Nowhere near Isodyne. Listen, I I'm sure you had a perfectly good reason for killing Jane. I didn't kill anyone. Then why are you doing this? Clean up other people's messes. So when I was hired to take care of Jane Scott's body, I made it look like the lady the late killer. What'd you see? I'm a good guy! That, put, put, put your gun down, let them help you. We'll lose him, okay? And then you're gonna cure me! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
Hi. I said no guns. Holster your weapons. Where is Detective Henry? Back that way. Put down the gun. Or what? You're gonna kill me? Look at me. I'm dying. We can help you. I won't last. You'll see. You can work this out. They're not gonna let us. Who won't let us? What? I said no guns! Sorry, I, I left my radio in the car. Do you have well, any idea dead. how much legwork it took to catch Dottie Underwood? Of course I do. But don't you trust me to grill her? Jack, who's been your biggest supporter since day one? You have Vernon. When your father called me, talking about his war hero's son acting aimless, both sides of the Atlantic. And I appreciate everything you've done, I do. Mm, so this is the guy that helped him out. I feel like the person who fights the bears should be the one to get the honey. Never steer you wrong, Jack. To Wilkes, I feel responsible for putting you in dangerous path. How many days it will take my heartbeat to slow? If whatever killed Detective Henry and the medical examiner is contagious, then we've all been exposed. So thank you properly for saving my life, Agent Kirk. How about dinner and dancing this Saturday evening? You're a brave man. But I make it my policy not to socialize with persons of interest. But it's nice to know you find me interesting. So, no. She's like, she had to look like, no. <laughs> Job's done. Wow, of course. Quite a night. <laughs> I thought I could do with a drink. I can't. Tonight, maybe another time? Yes, of course. I got a woman. Moved on. Wow. Hold down here! <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with him. I knew there was something wrong with that uh, Dr. Wilkes guy. Because I'm like, why was he like that with Peggy? Like, why was he too nice to her? Why was he... there? I knew there was something up with him. And then, of course, the other two uh, people that they were, they were looking at, they paid the, the cop off to kill, uh, you know, Henry. It was just freaking crazy but I mean, this episode had a lot of twists and turns that's just kind of how i can describe this whole episode like it's like you didn't know what really what was going on until like towards the end but i had a feeling with dr wilkes i really did and he's an inventor so that kind of really pointed to him like wait what kind of person could invent a you know a lake freezing definitely in a hot temperature you know state like that you know in california how i mean i don't know what that thing is that that was uh that wilkes was looking at but it was, it's obviously none of the adventure but daniels did move on you know he has a girl you know his girlfriend you know peggy was going to ask him for a drink i think he's she was actually going to give him a chance yeah i mean daniels was going to move on period like she he, he knew that he had no chance with peggy at least at the time they're in new york jarvis in heroes is funny as heck as always uh, seeing his wife for the first time was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, overall, the episode was really uh, great. I definitely can't wait to see what's going to happen next. Uh, please post your comments down below. Tell me what you think about this episode for Agent Card. Make sure you guys go on the Patreon page to get the full reaction on there and also support the channel as well. Other than that, guys, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next, Agent Carter.